Hey, this is Leo, and these are the biggest new features in Ableset version 1.10. The first important feature is the ability to password protect the web app. You can do this by going to Ableset's option menu, then clicking on web app password and entering a password here. I'll just use Ableset as the password. You should uh, probably use something more safe. And when I save this, you will see that I can still access Ableset just fine on my own machine. But if I go over to my iPad, for example, you will see that the setlist view and the performance view are now locked. And the only way to unlock it is to press this little key icon, uh, entering the password. And now you can jump between songs again and control everything as normal. The next feature is the ability to give your setlists custom names. You will see that instead of able set, it now says untitled setlist at the top of your setlist. And if you go into the edit mode, you can rename it. So this could be setlist for today. So it's the 29th of July. Now, if I download the setlist, you will see that uh, this setlist name is used as the file name. And if I go ahead and rename this like uh, some other setlist, and I drag it into here to import it, you will see that it will use the file name as the new setlist name. You will also see the setlist name in the performance view, um, just at the top above everything else, so you know you're on the right setlist currently. The next new feature is the ability to jump between song sections using the max for life controller. So let's say we are currently in this song, Follow Night. I can use these arrows to jump between sections. And the cool thing about this is that I don't have to worry about skipping outside of the song. So if I reach the last section, I can't skip any further. And the same is true if I try to go further than the first section. It's just inside of the current song. And the last feature I want to mention is the ability to enable a mode where Ableset will stop after each song no matter if you used song end or the normal stop marker. So if I enable this, you will see that Ableset now puts a stop after each song. This is uh, nice if you're practicing, for example, and uh, you don't want Ableset to kind of jump directly to the next song. Ableset version 1.10 comes with a lot of other improvements and bug fixes as well. So feel free to check out the changelog using the link in the description below. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments as well. That's it for now. And I wish you a great day.